tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! That song gets me hyped. I wish, you know, I don't know. It goes so perfectly with this song. I wish I knew the words because I will be like all over it. I know. You know. But anyway, what's up, After Buzzers? Thank you guys for tuning in today to another episode of Christina Million Turned Up. And we are already at episode number five. I'm, I'm sad to say that there's one more episode left. But uh, anyway, if you guys remember right now, you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is yes. youtube.com slash afterbuzz, or no, slash afterbuzz TV. Yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> iTunes, SoundCloud, the whole night. I am one of your lovely hosts, Robin Ayers. And with me, I have... Hello, it's Francesca. What's up, guys? It's Michelle Renee. And as always, English Cleveland. Welcome back. Thanks, guys. <laughs> English Speaks. I am really excited today because we have one of my favorite people in all the earth, <laughs> in all the world. We've got a special guest here with us, Lauren Rogers. Give her a round of applause, guys. Yay! Hey. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Yes, Thanks for thank coming you in. so much for coming in, Lauren. No problem. Let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> After Buzzers, if you guys are familiar, you know Lauren from um, the show as well. She is um, Christina's assistant. But... I'm really happy with the way that you've been introduced in this particular episode, and there's so much to talk about. So we're hoping that you can give us like a lot of insight. Yes. You think you can hook us up? I, I think I can help you guys a little bit. All right, very <laughs> cool. Let's start from the very beginning, guys. Uh, there's so much to break down in this, t this particular episode, but we start out with you guys all at Frenchies, and this is kind of one of the first times we see everybody like in a real chill oh, mode. Minchies. Fr what is it? Minchie. Minchie. What did I say? <laughs> I was trying to think. I was, I was like, what? You're like, I haven't heard of that place before. Okay, I was so like, I didn't see that scene in the episode. <laughs> that goes to show you how much I don't go to Minchie's. To Minchie's. Minchie's. But anyway, frozen Minchie's yogurt. is great. It's a, it's frozen like yogurt. a yogurt, frozen yogurt type of spot. And thanks for the correction, y'all. <laughs> <No shade. laughs> I'm just kidding. You're hungry. Um, I'm hungry. You're not Thank yourself you. when you're hungry. It, that's exactly it. I told everybody I'm like starving hungry. So that's what it is. Yeah. Just kind of got flipped up. Anyway, <laughs> we see uh, every Everybody there for the first time really kind of chill in this particular it's like starting off this episode and I really loved it um, everybody was just kind of hanging out and mm -hmm. talking about different things like one of the first things that they were talking about was the fact that Lizzie decided not to go for the truck um, right. the tr like opening mm -hmm. up her truck and, and that's one of the questions that we had the entire uh, season was like okay is she gonna do it or is she not mm -hmm. so uh, anyway and then it was really funny how Christina and Carmen were all like I told you so like Lizzie doesn't really stick to anything is that your experience with her too? Lizzie has a trillion ideas and, <laughs> and they're all really good and creative she's, like, she's, she's the most creative person ever but her follow through is mm -hmm. <laughs> a little shaky yeah a little shaky but we give her props, though. I really love Lizzie. I mean, so... I love her ideas. We all love her ideas. But it's just like, okay, Lizzie, we get you have all these ideas. But which one are you going to, like, follow all the way through to the end? Right. And to this day, I don't know if I've... I don't know if there's been one yet. <laughs> but, you know, you gotta love Lizzie anyways. So. Yes, exactly. But you know what? I am glad that she talked about the fact that she's doing blogging with, I think it's OK Magazine, right? Yes, she So does. she's, she's really going cool. full-fledged with that. It is kind of cool. Have That's you guys cool. read any of her, uh, her blogs or no, anything no. like that? She has a, her own personal blog, too, called Still a Mill. So she, all, yeah. like, it's on Instagram, and I think it's like a, a, a site that she has. So she, she's full fledged with that stuff. But you know. yeah, she, well, she's you know, it, again, it's uh, at Steel Emil, right? Yeah, I've gone on there. It's actually pretty cool because you can go get some of her ideas, like for her cooking, like little mm. recipes and stuff like that. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, and well, and, that's one thing she did follow through with. She's a chef. That's true. Yeah. That's yeah. how me and Lizzie met, culinary school. So yes, she is a chef. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, so thanks, Lizzie, for bringing Lauren around. <laughs> Lauren's dope. Lauren's uh, brought a lot of insight into the entire family and everything like that, right? So you're yes. a chef, too? Yes. Oh, awesome. I, I am. But it takes, like, a backseat to, like, everything else I do. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And let me just be the first to say, Lauren is actually really, really, really talented when it comes to uh, cooking. Oh, nice. She cooks for, well, she, just on the on the homie hookup. Like, she'll just come over and cook sometimes, or she cooks for my family and stuff like that sometimes. So she's really, really cool, um, good. I'm inviting yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if y'all want to come over and do, like, a, a dinner, yeah. Lauren, yeah. are you down? Yeah. I'm down. Maybe you, maybe you and Lizzie can, like, go half on it. Oh yeah, we can collaborate. I mean, yeah, as long as you can get Lizzie to come. Oh, and, and if, <laughs> yeah, we can get, if, as long as we can get Lizzie, and it's got to be kosher. Mm-hmm. Right. right, a big part uh, of it's got to be kosher. Well, that means, your, that means your kitchen has to be kosher. Oh my! Have you ever oh, cooked so in a kosher happen. kitchen before? <laughs> no, because I'm not. I can't cook in a kosher kitchen because yeah, kosher, kosher kitchens are blessed by rabbis. Oh yeah. So oh, like, oh that's right. Yeah. So okay. I I would mess up the kitchen if I tried to cook it. In. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, and we saw early on that a rabbi actually came and blessed uh, Tina's kitchen, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So she's good there. Yeah. Lizzie she's is good. Yeah. To so cook we, there. we can cook there. All right. Well, if we decide to do it, I doubt that Lizzie is gonna follow through with that. Either, <laughs> so we can just have Lauren come over and cook, and we'll do a dinner. Yes. So, uh, okay, so she's not going to do the, the truck, but maybe, I think, English, you had the idea. Maybe Violet will pick it up at some point right. in the future. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so hopefully Perfect. so. We'll see. Yeah. But um, let's get to the good stuff. They talk about going camping mm-hmm. in this particular mm-hmm. episode, and it was Tina's idea. So mm-hmm. it's funny how things kind of unfold. Um, who did not want to go to the to the camping trip? I think it was Carmen for sure. Yeah, right? Carmen for sure. I mean, I think I kind of was like, "Are you guys sure you want to go camping too?" Because I am like, I'm a germaphobe, so I was thinking about <laughs> yes. like, the dirt and stuff. But it was really mainly Carmen that expressed her like distaste for it. Like she didn't want to do it at all. Yeah, she wanted to go to a spa. She went to the spa. The a whole, lot. Yes. The whole <laughs> Absolutely. And um, and I, I thought it was like a good idea, though, like because she was like, you know, we're all doing different things with our careers and it would be a great idea for us to all just kind of get together and hang out or whatever. Mm-hmm. So uh, that was pretty interesting. Um, and I'm glad that everybody signed on to do it, but I'm not glad how everything started to unfold. Right. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know what I mean? Carmen totally was dressed for glamping, like they said. <laughs> That's how you knew it was going to turn left all the way, because that was the first flag for me. <laughs> Carmen walked up in there with her heels on, and I don't know who said it, but like her with the heels could be like a digging tool for, for worms. The worms. <laughs> <laughs> So she can help us get the worms out for the fishing. Oh yeah, perfect. yes. So let's break that down. How did how did it go that day? Because uh, clearly you and Danielle were like certified when they started packing. You guys were all into like getting it done. Well, yeah. I think Danielle wanted everything to be right, and she felt like the only way that it would that she was um, assured that it would be right is if she did it herself. And then I'm so much of a like I like I want to like so much control, but I like to help make sure everything works out so if anything goes wrong i can say at least you know if i if i was a part of it Mm -hmm. then it's like okay what went wrong because of me not because of somebody else right so um i think that you know me and Danielle just both kind of have that personality so we're just like we got to get the show on the road we want we want to make sure we have all the necessities so that's how it that's how it happened and then the other two just are always like lazy and kind of (laughs) like slow and so it's like we just knew that if we didn't like if we didn't take the initiative then it may not happen or we may not have half the things we will probably sleeping out on the ground with yeah. no cover like you know what I'm saying that's how yeah are, are they always like that like take a back seat and let you guys take care of everything yeah they are <laughs> they, I mean I think that Lizzie definitely cause she has, she's so creative Christina's like a creative person too like they're in their head a lot I think thinking of things like artists kind of yeah how artists exactly are. and so and so they're definitely not the ones like if, if they need if something needs to happen they're never gonna be like yeah I'm gonna do it first they'll, they'll never be that people they'll never those kind of people Oh, that's funny. Well, thank God that they had you there because you were looking. Lauren is like about her business, okay? Like, that's why I love to have her in my life. I'm just really grateful uh, (laughs) because on a personal level, like, she's always taking care of business. So it kind of feels like Christina, um, you know, if she's lacking anywhere, yeah, she knows that that you'll pick it up. Christina knows how I am. So when I'm around, too, she definitely (laughs) doesn't. She's just like, oh, she'll do it. Like, yes. So you guys, you know what we were able to see on this particular episode is uh, we've always kind of made fun, not made fun, but we laughed at how um, Danielle was always crying in in the season. (laughs) But she came out a little bit. She got a little bit more feisty, didn't Mm -hmm. she? Yeah, she She did. did. That's, That's true, Danielle, though. 
That like, is like that's the real Danielle. Yeah, I mean, crying. That crying is her. She's very emotional, but she's also very, very like feisty. Like she doesn't play. She well, doesn't hold her tongue. Either. Yeah, she definitely was like, um, "Listen, I am not the one yeah. that you want to mess with." And I was like, "Okay, Danielle." Like, no, I feel like she, that's usually how it works. People that are the most sensitive are also kind of the most feisty too. I okay, agree. I agree. With that's totally their emotions me. Uh, like run when the is gamut. her birthday, Danielle? She's uh, March second. Oh, yeah. so her birthday's Wait, coming when's her birthday? Pisces? Mine's April 5th, so we're almost super oh. close. I'm really close. I'm May 2nd, and I'm very, I'm a very emotional person, and yeah. I can go from 0 to 100 real, real fast. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 0 right, to so 100. Wait, you're, you're not a Pisces. Taurus. Okay, yeah, she's a Pisces. I we're, like, all right after. Well, I'm a Sagittarius, and I can go from 0 to 100 real quick. I can cry, and then maybe I'm, somebody out. I'm a Sagittarius, too, though, and I'm not real emotional. I'm just, yeah. like, I try to be, like, even you, all the time. Mm-hmm. That's what I was going to ask you. Like, how do you stay so calm? Like, while all this drama is going on, you're just there, like, so calm, cool, and collected. Well, I think I'm used to that. Like, at this point, <laughs> I've, been, I've been around them for so long, and I know how they get. Like, and even, like, you'll, I think you'll hear me say it more. Um, like, you guys always do this. You guys, like, have these big screaming matches, and then you guys act like, like you're hungry, you want something to eat? And I'm just like, <laughs> like, so I think when it comes to them, I'm just so, like, Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah. This one's gonna go, and now this one. Okay, and then they're gonna go crazy, and then you know. But is it ever awkward? And since you've been around them for a long time, but you know, when you're at someone's house or something, and they start arguing, you're like, oh, okay, this is awkward. Not now. Not anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but maybe in the beginning, it was probably a little bit weird. But like at this point, I'm just like, oh, like I'm, it's more of like I have to get in the middle, or I have to say something at some point. Like they, because they go like for blood like you know and they say the meanest things to each other so I'm like okay yeah I'm like okay so when am I gonna interject (laughs) it's more like that I'm more thinking like okay when am I gonna say like okay enough is enough or or how far are they gonna go before like I speak up after things have flown right the dust is settled oh gosh sure so how long have you been have you been in the family um, well, me like me and Lizzie met ten years ago, mm-hmm. and and then working, it's been like I think seven. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's been cool. like seven years. Ten and years. I, I just years really had the seven years working. Yeah, I I enjoyed um, how Christina looks at Lauren and how she just made that known. Like you know, we've seen you around obviously on the episodes and everything like mm-hmm. that, but this was her first like formal time. I uh, you know introducing you like formally uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, as like a family member mm-hmm. more so than an assistant I don't even think anybody looks at you like an assistant because you're yeah. part of the family uh-huh. so I really enjoyed that yeah um, how do you balance like your own life and then I'm an assistant too so I totally like get the whole like you become family with the people you mm-hmm. are around them all the time you want what's best for them just like you would want for your own family it's hard to turn off it's a job and then than to put on like, okay, well, I need to go home because I have personal stuff to do. So how do you balance your personal life and then as well as they're like family, but then you actually work for them? So it's kind of like, how do you juggle all the... I mean, it, it, that's a good question because it's like a really, really, really fine line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because And I feel like, I definitely feel like I come last. Mm-hmm. But it's like that, that's also like the nature of my personality. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm single and, and no kids or anything like that, it's easier for me to like pour so much into work. Yeah. I'm like, and I always, I think I, I tell myself, I'm like, okay, Laura, you could do this now mm-hmm. because when you're li- like, when you have a family or when yeah. things get, like, you won't be able to do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I kind of feel like that all kind of comes, work comes first. Mm-hmm. I'm, and I'm just naturally driven, like, I, I love working. Mm-hmm. So I think that it just naturally comes first and like then I come after that and I, I'll like take my weekends or I'll take you know when I do have like me time mm-hmm. like I really ignore everybody like okay. it's me time so you so. shot him off oh yeah yeah absolutely okay. it's, like, it's like if I don't feel like have, answering this phone right now I'm not gonna answer like it can my, I had to learn like things can wait like mm-hmm. things it's not, it's not always like an emergency mm-hmm. if someone calls you over and over and over like mm-hmm. it's okay like, yeah you your know. boundaries yeah, yes yeah. yes <laughs> wait so I, w- I wanna know how you um how you even divide or separate how do you i don't know if i'm gonna make this clear or not but you work for christina Uh right Uh but you are like family Uh so how do you even balance like that loyalty so to so to speak because you're loyal to the whole family as a whole but you work for christina Uh um it's it's hard and and like you'll even see this episode it's like I don't really end up on the same side with Tina. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It's yeah. like it was her and Lizzie versus the. I guess you would say the three of us. Even though I really felt like it was, it wasn't like I wasn't trying to be on their. It was like their side versus our side. I was standing up for what was right and was wrong mm-hmm. to me. 
Um, so I think I always just try to like my integrity at the end of the day. I, I tell I, I'm very vocal and I say like I, I'm going to say what's right and what's wrong. So no matter if it's with you, Tina, or if it's against you, Tina, I'm not always going to tell you what I what I feel is right and wrong. Yeah. So, I mean, it's hard. And I think, though, that I'm very honest. And I think that we have a, a it's like we have a really great relationship and it's a mutual respect for each other. That's good. That she definitely takes what I, like if I say something, if mm-hmm. I voice something, she listens and vice versa. Mm-hmm. So we like communicate really, really well. Yeah. But I think it's also because we have a, a really good friendship too. So. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. I know this, it's hard. It's, it's gotta be, yeah. you know, just even, even looking at it, not even as a friend, but I'm just saying, if you're just looking at their lives as, as a viewer, mm-hmm. you're like, dang, even to be caught up in it like that is just, cause you really do. It's funny when you look at all of the different episodes, Lauren goes, come on guys. Like she gets up in the middle of everybody's stuff and she's like the sound mind and the sound voice behind everybody well they tell me that i play the fence though so if you ask them oh, really oh. they'll say oh if lauren plays the fence or carmy's always like oh lauren's a sugar coder and i'm like no i just i you guys say things and handle things a certain way i handle things and say things that, like i don't i feel like you know sometimes you attract more bees with honey than yeah. You know, Vinegar, yeah. And, and so i don't i feel like i have to be like abrasive or rude to make my point i can say it's super nice and sweet but if i don't like something that any of them do Mm -hmm. i'm gonna tell you yeah but i can say it in a nice way and so i think it stops me from having conflict though because they're a lot more they're all alike right so when they feel a certain way it's just like and i'm not that person (laughs) right okay so were you uh just as agitated with um, Christina and Lizzie yeah, as Danielle I they, was yeah, when you were packing? They, I thought that they were, yeah, the, I thought with the packing situation, I thought you were going to say it about the campsite. With the packing situation, I definitely was like, okay, we packed everything. Then when it came to the, the things that you don't see is that when it came to, to, um, to packing stuff in the car, me and Danielle knew that it's gonna. we had to like pack like Tetris. Like it was like, you can't just throw stuff in there mm-hmm. where you didn't see, but Christina's like putting stuff in the car and we're like, no, 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 no. Like, you can't just put anything in the car. Like, I think she's trying to put her bags in right away. And we're mm-hmm. like, no. Mm-hmm. Like, we have to pack a tent. We have to pack wood. We have to pack a cooler. We have to pack, like, everything. And so your little clothing bag is, like, the last thing we're <laughs> right. thinking about. So that's why she didn't like the fact that we were kind of like, no, like, stop. Yeah. And so she went to go play with the squirrel. But that didn't mean, we said stop. That didn't mean move and go play with the squirrel. It means stand there and, like, assist, but just don't try to put it in yourself. Yeah. So, yeah, so I was definitely like, here we go. But, yeah. you know, I, like, again, things roll off my back different than. Yeah, and that was kind of clear to me in this episode how it rolled off Lauren's back, but definitely not Danielle. She made that mm-hmm. very clear. She was not happy with it. And she was about to tap out. Like, I don't even want to go on the on the trip. Mm-hmm. But what I have to give her credit for is the fact that she just let, she was like, you know what? Let me just change my attitude. Mm-hmm. And she was like, so in the car, she was like, here, everybody take drink. a little drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah, know, and yeah. so the, the, the ride seemed like it was pretty cool. No, the ride was a lot of fun. Like, how long all- was the ride? Right. Two hours. Okay. Because it was it's a little bit past Santa Barbara. Oh, nice. Yeah. So yeah. It was so short. she was um, pooting and stuff in the car. <laughs> yeah, we went over. I gave them rules, the things that you know, things that you don't see. Like I gave them rules, the things that they couldn't do. Because like, again, they're like they can be like one with nature, and I'm not really like that. So I was like, no shoes in the tent. Like I was making <laughs> yeah. up all these different things, and they're like, okay, Lauren, you know. Nah. So it would. I mean, it was fun. We had a we stopped. We bought some bait, like things that you don't see and stuff, and we like joked and this it was like a really good time and they didn't show you in the car that before we got to the site we said what everyone's job was going to be oh so it was like okay we're going to put and so another reason that they don't show our irritation because like when we even got to the campsite and and they're like we're gonna go fishing we're like we just had a whole conversation Mm. about what everybody's gonna do okay okay so clearly they didn't follow through with their part no because christina didn't like the fact that we were ignoring her so she's like well i want to leave because yeah. like you guys are not answering. When yeah. I get, I mean, in hindsight, I'm like, okay, we should, I shouldn't have ignored her. But it was just more like, it, it wasn't like an ignore, like, I'm not talking to you. It was just more like, are you really asking these questions? Like, we just talked about what we're going to okay, do. Why you, are we, yeah. like, you know, like, I'm trying to put the tent together. Why? Yeah. You know, so. So, I mean, when they first got out of the truck and everything, Christina clearly had the conversation with Carmen that she was like, I'm down to cook. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, things things definitely took a turn, which, you know, something that I noticed. But um, so Lizzie and Lizzie and Christina decide that they want to go off and fish while everybody else handles their business. And then everybody else sets up the whole campsite for the night. Yes. And which is assuring (laughs) all of our safety, not just the three of us, but everybody, all five of us. So, so Lauren, you guys certified put up all the stuff? Yeah. We certified put up a whole tent. <laughs> we, separated, we separated everybody's stuff. We made sure everybody was good. We, set, we started separating the food because we brought a lot of meat and stuff. Seasoned the meat. 
Wow. Like we, and like we set up uh, besides the meat, we had like beans, and I think I think Carmen made made a salad or something. I remember she was talking about her salad or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um and so we really were like getting it right for everybody for the for the night. Yeah. Before it was dark too, because it's like harder to do things. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. What time did you guys get there? I think we got there around like four. Oh, three, so it was I already it was like later three, than that. Yeah, it was like three, between like 3.30 and 4. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you only oh, well. had a small yeah. window yeah, exactly. of time to like done. set everything up. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever gone camping before? Yeah, I love mm-hmm. camping. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, I'm not a no, camper no, no, either. No. I'm totally Carmen in that situation. Well, I wouldn't be dressed like with the heels and stuff <laughs> like that, but I would be like, can we just go like to the hotel or resort? You right. Know? Yeah. I'm not a camper either. I like camping, but I like a little bit more like a cabin. Like a cabin. Oh, yeah. like That's the tent. kind of camping I've done. I mean, I've done the, I've done the tent camping before. I went on a two-week thing, but I prefer like if I am going to be outside to mm-hmm. do like a cabin mm-hmm. versus being in a tent. Yeah, like I can get with that. Like go to a cabin yeah, and go then back. go outside and do the fire camping mm-hmm. marshmallow thing, but then go back inside. inside. And I want yeah. real restrooms too. We only had porter potties, which was another oh thing. whole situation. Mm-hmm. Well, at least you had porter potties yeah. and didn't have to go to like dig a hole. I definitely I've been in places in other countries where it it was it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? Would you have been vocal about, like, even before they left, ha- would you have ignored it? Like, okay, just fine, go go camping, even though we talked about our jobs? Or do you think you would have been like, no, excuse me? Well, I kind of feel I, I kind of feel like I understand where Danielle's coming from because you guys were talking about, you guys, no, let's just, let us pack it because you don't know what you're doing. And so I think a lot of times, and we were talking about this too, you, like, you like doing everything so you know you're doing it right Mm -hmm. but then that can carry a burden sometimes because then you're you're upset with someone but then you can't really vocally be mad and so when other things happen then you're just gonna blow so like i can understand like why she was upset of course i mean anybody watching could probably (laughs) understand too well i have a question for you which kind of will affect my answer are (laughs) are christina and danielle i mean no christina and lizzie like just closer than they are with danielle because to me it didn't seem like her anger was 100 percent about them like leaving you guys it more so was kind of maybe like a jealous that like she wasn't invited to go fishing no, I think that all three of them are close. I think that um, Lizzie and Tina and Christina have a, like a more of a similar personality. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think Danielle, like me, is more of like because she's Danielle's a mother too, you know, and Christina is too. But she's more of like a nurturer, caregiver, like that's like, and, and that's how I am. Like, and so I think Danielle's frustration was, did you? Ha- I know you wanted to fish, but did you have to fish right now? Well, when I'm caring about all of, like, the fishing is more something you want to do. Mm-hmm. And I'm t- thinking about how we're all going to mm. be good for the rest of the night. Mm-hmm. So I think it was just, like, their overall attitude. Um, I think a frustration came from, Christina, you planned this trip. Mm-hmm. And then how are how are we, like, how are you taking a backseat to the trip that you brought to everybody? Okay. Mm-hmm. So I think it kind of was, like, building from, like, wait, didn't you come up with this idea? And then you didn't really help with the packing. Then you get here, you want to take off. And then they were gone for a long, they were gone for, like, three hours. Wow. And so it was just like, okay, guys. That's so, a long time when you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, and, yeah. and it felt like, because it felt, for us, it felt like eternity. Like, we went and looked at the leg. We came back and went to the bathroom. We had this whole joke with the <laughs> toilets. They were, like, we were messing with each other. Like, we, we drank. We did so much stuff. And then they come back and they're like, what's up, guys? And they're all excited. And we're like, we've been here for three hours. Like, post, like, like you know. So, and you guys are, were only there for the night. Yes, exactly. So that made it even, Yeah. That yeah, especially fun. since you guys were bonding, we're supposed to, to be, be bonding. bonding. And yeah. it was like I think that we th- the whole thing with camping was something different because everybody's like into their phones, mm-hmm. into TV. Mm-hmm. So it's like if you take us out of that, we had to talk. I think, and I think honestly, um, Danielle and Carmen are really into like family time, mm-hmm. and really that's where I think too. There's like Danielle and Carmen and Christina and Lizzie. They all like are very close knit family, but I think those two are really about like family and bonding and being together. And so I think they looked at it like you're take you guys are taking away from all this that we the purpose of the yeah. trip yeah hmm. wow so what's your answer um well what was the original question <laughs> if i agree um would i could see how it would be i would i have said something mm-hmm. probably but i mean i don't know if i because then at that point when it escalates to where it did i think that and i we don't know how the episode ends but i think that you do kind of want to express your opinion obviously and get it off your chest but then if you express your opinion too much and a fright breaks out Mm -hmm. then now y'all aren't really y'all really aren't gonna have fun Mm -hmm. because like so it's like i got you yeah Yeah. so it's kind of like while you want to say something you don't really want to ruin the trip so i don't i would have said something but i wouldn't have like 
made it a press huge issue, deal. Really. Yeah. Okay, got you. So that was my convoluted How answer. You, Sorry. English? No, it's cool. <laughs> well, I'm totally a middle child, so I'm all about fair. Like, you know, I'm the middle, and I'm the first girl, and so, and I have three brothers. And then a little sister. So we have a big family. So it's always about like fairness. Like is everything like everyone doing what they're supposed to do? Like when we used to have to do chores, like did you do your chores? Cause when mom comes home, we're all gonna be in trouble and I don't <laughs> wanna hear it. So for me, I just feel like I would have done the same thing probably that she did. I, I feel like they, it was totally wrong and it's unfair, especially like you said, like everyone had their own job. Like, why aren't you doing your job? I'm doing my job. Like, mm-hmm. why are we all not doing our jobs? What's going on? Yeah. I don't get it. I then, think it, but I think in Christina's defense, she thinks like she was doing her, like her they're rights. so hung up on this fishing thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even though we didn't care, honestly, about mm-hmm. it. In her mind, it was like, like, I think I said that on, on the episode too. I'm like, if, you, if Christina's looking at it like, I want to go fishing. I'm getting dinner for everybody. Mm. But it's still like, in my, I'm like, right. we didn't ask for, I didn't ask for fish. What they was her appointed job? Like that, when you guys went over like the jobs, what was she supposed to do? I think we, we immediately said that me and Danielle were going to put up the tent. Mm-hmm. So everyone was going to unpack and get everything else situated. Mm. So they, we started putting up the tent and then they left. So we still like, we not only did we put up the tent, we unpacked and got everything mm. situated mm. while they went and fished. Yeah. I mean, you made a good point. That's exactly what I was thinking, just to play devil's advocate, because we do that a lot on the show. Like We're always, you know, speaking up for somebody else. I was thinking maybe Christina really did think like she was looking out for everybody. Like, yeah, you guys hold this down. I'm going to go hold it down and get us dinner for the night. But then you she guys... She knew we were irritated, though. Even though I know that already. was her thinking, she knew that we were annoyed. And so I think that was more of her, like, so, well, let me take off then because they're having an attitude anyway. So I don't want to be around them. So it's mm. like I get what her thinking was. Mm-hmm. But it still to me, it was like you didn't have to do that. You wanted to do that. Mm. I, that So when everyone first started arguing, Christina kind of was smirking and smiling. Did you guys notice that? So I was wondering, did she, do you think she was kind of like egging you guys on when she came back from fishing at first? That's how we all felt. We were like, because I remember sitting there and thinking, is this for like is this real right now? Like, like it's like, I'm real like life. yeah, I'm like wait what? And then cause, and then they just started yelling. But I think she knew. Like I think she might have been for, like, for Chris, Christina doesn't like really get mad. Like um, it takes her a while to get mm. mad. But when she's mad, she's like you can't stop her. So I think at first she was kind of like they can't be serious. Like I'm gonna kind of like mess with them. Like you know you guys are still having an attitude. I left when you guys had an attitude. I'm, I came back. You guys have an attitude. Mm-hmm. And then I think when she saw that Danielle wasn't playing, like, then it got serious. But I do think she kind of was just like, like, because I think she said it to me first, like, Lauren, something about food. And I was like, we have food already. And then mm-hmm. she was like, oh, what's up with you? And I was like, I'm great, you know. <laughs> and so um, so I do think that she was, like, trying to, like, play a little bit, like, mm-hmm. be sarcastic. Mm-hmm. But is this, like, day to day, though? Is this how Christina is? Is this how, like, she'll maybe it's a little bit... Uh, I don't know, she, maybe she just doesn't think about everybody else like that and she puts herself first kind of deal? Yeah, no, she definitely, like, I mean, I'm saying she's definitely, like, not the one that's going to, like, she, 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 like, she's really caring and makes sure, like, everybody's thought of and she's really nice to people. Like, the same person you met, like, you will meet here is the same person she'll be tomorrow, but she's not the person that's, like, thinking that hard into things. Like, mm-hmm. she's, mm-hmm. she's, like, she, it's, like, really, especially if she doesn't know you, it's very like, hi, how are you? You're good? Okay, cool. And then that's like, I think the thinking stops. It doesn't, yeah. it's not like deep thoughts into into stuff. Yeah, but I, then, go ahead, I'm sorry. I know you mentioned um, that no one reprimands Christina or like everyone just, kind of, you were encouraging to them like, well, when she gets back, you everyone needs to say all that you're saying now mm-hmm. to her. Why do you think no one really reprimands or says anything to her when she is wrong? Because, because she's, I mean, because it's it's hard. To, honestly, it's really hard to be mad. At. Even when she like frustrates me or annoys me, she'll be like, "Hey, Lauren," and like she like comes up to you super happy, super excited. Or if she knows she's wrong, she'll like come to you in a very loving way. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of like, why even? It's it's um, it's like if someone is super nice, it's kind of hard. If you're mad at them, it's hard to be. Um, like it's hard to be like a uh, aggressive or you know really like let out how you feel in that moment. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think it's that. And then I think it's too like, if if like if you have an issue with her, then it's like it creates more issues. So it's just more like ah, like like why? I think people don't want to deal with it. I think mm-hmm. overall it's just like she's gonna be her regardless. Any like so why? You know what I'm saying? I think that's kind of like the overall attitude. Yeah. Like 
You know? Do you think, too, the family feels like because, like she says, she supports everyone, it's kind, of, it's kind of biting the hand that feeds you, so you might as well not really say what you really feel sometimes because your rent may be coming up or, you no, know. No, actually, don't, I think her family is so opinionated and, and they don't hold back, like, because, mm-hmm. you know, they're very vocal for someone if, if for someone that is, like, taking care of you. Mm-hmm. I feel like they don't have, that. that I don't think that's the issue because mm-hmm. I don't think that they're afraid to tell her about herself when they, but the, the, I feel like with all of them, they don't know how to tell each other without like getting really mad. It mm-hmm. can't be like, hey, I didn't like that you did that. But it's like mm-hmm. you have to be pissed, mm-hmm. and then it turns into a you know a bigger thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. But yes, I was going back to like what the original thing he said. I was like, okay, we can sit and talk about it all day, but the question is, are you going to say something now? Because mm-hmm. uh, even that, you know, with Carmen, I'll tell her, I'm like, you'll hold it in now, but then something will happen like five you you know Mm -hmm. five months a week down the line and then you'll bring up you'll give her a list of all Mm -hmm. this stuff and Mm -hmm. then it's like it's not it's not sticking to then christina's like you're not sticking to topic and it's like because carmen was holding on to all these things Mm -hmm. so i'm like just say either we're going to talk about it now and when they get back or we're not going to talk about it at all Mm -hmm. yeah they don't show that they that they we actually were like we're not going to talk about it we're just going to leave it alone Mm -hmm. and so i think when christina did come back and she kind of was like picking and picking Mm -hmm. danielle ended up exploding because danielle wasn't going to say anything Mm -hmm. but you know it's been she said something. <laughs> I noticed that Christina said it felt like they wanted this to happen. It felt like they had something that they wanted to say. So do you think that that was a part of it? Maybe Christina was like, maybe she came back and was like, no, get it off your chest. Like, and she kept picking because she felt like everybody had something to say. Yeah, I think I definitely think it's that too, because keep in mind, like the tension was started from when we were packing. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like nothing had really were, was addressed. It was like, you know, we told her how we felt that, like we told her like, no, like don't put your stuff in there. We'll do it. And then she walked away and said whatever. And now my stuff is on the outside, you know? And, um, <laughs> and well, that's like, you know, that was the scene. And, um, but I don't, I don't, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought. No, it's cool. But overall, I do think that she had, she felt like that something needed to be said because, it was had been ongoing since the beginning of the day. Yeah, was and liquor you know influence? when there's tension too. If you like, yes, yes. You know. we, we everybody had been drinking. Yeah. Even because they even tried to say like, oh, it was you guys drinking? I'm like, no, you guys were drinking too. They were yeah. drinking when they went fishing. Uh, and Michelle, I agree. Like you totally know when there's tension. It's just, and then I'm the type of person like I communicate a lot. I just do. And so if you have something to say and I can feel that you have mm-hmm. something to say, just say it. Don't mm-hmm. be passive aggressive about it. Mm-hmm. Don't, you know, let it slide. Let's talk about it. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's maybe. And, and Christina's a Libra too, right? Mm-hmm. What up, Tina? Okay. so uh, <laughs> But I do think that Danielle's way, way of holding holding back and not saying something was because like the whole idea that we're going to be there overnight. Right. We're all going to mm-hmm. be stuck together. It's just the five of us. So maybe right now is not the time to talk about this. Yeah, that's like what Michelle was saying earlier. It's like finding that balance. Like, okay, I don't want to ruin the entire trip. So maybe we do put some things on hold and talk about it later. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, I'm... Oh, oh God. The show uh, starts to get a little bit crazy because I even noticed how Christina, (laughs) when she originally, before she dumped the fish out she threw the bucket down and i noticed that it got on you like you were looking at your shoes and uh-huh. stuff so like oh, you have you have fish juice she got on your fish shoes juice on her and that's, oh, no. what, and that's what I, I don't think it was cut but you hear carmen carmen goes okay christina that's enough because yeah. that's when she first got because it was like okay we can have this little tip back and forth but now you're like throwing fish and i know it was an accident christina was like it was an accident and they yelled like it was an accident it was an accident but it was still like you're doing a lot right now. Like you yeah. don't have to do all that. But yeah, I was thinking I was like, yuck, fish juice. I'm like, <laughs> we're in the woods, and then me of all people, I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, was, germaphobe. I know. Poor I girl. was so dis- I was like, Ugh. so <laughs> that's literally where it goes from zero to a hundred uh-huh. because they came back from that fishing trip like everything was all good. Like they had just. And Lizzie, I think she even said we saved the day or something like that. <laughs> she, like we have fish and those little scrawny fish. I give y'all credit for trying, but those little scrawny fish, like everybody was about to grub right. on this fish, but oh, it didn't no, happen. Only like they were that. gonna grub on that fish. <laughs> <They> were, <laughs> well, apparently nobody was gonna grub on that fish because nobody wanted to gut it and clean it. <laughs> and remember, Christine said like, she's like, you guys didn't even look at the bucket. They came back with the fish. We didn't care about that fish. Like, like nobody even wanted to look at it. Like that was for them. That, you know, no. wait, you and you mentioned when they were still gone that you said I'm hungry, and then like, did you guys eat already? Or? Yeah, we had like made I think like hot links or something. Okay, so it was you really weren't concerned about the fish. No, I mean we still had steaks and stuff that we had marinated, and we're waiting for them to get back so we can cook it on the grill and oh. like serve everybody together. But they were gone for three hours, so we got ate as soon as we got there. You know. Okay, so oh, it wow. started to get 
mad real over Messy. at that uh, campsite. Sorry, it's stuff going on. Um, <gasps> it got so serious where I was fi- like, I was like, <gasps> I mean, because I've never seen them go at it like that. And mm-hmm. I wonder if you've ever seen them go at it the way that they did. Yes, I definitely Physically have. pushing. <laughs> like, definitely. I know the first, like, maybe altercation or physical altercation that I saw was Tina, like, grabbing Carmen or maybe pushing Carmen's hands off of her or something like that. But she feels so horrible about it. She's she like, does. Especially that's that was mama. on camera <laughs> and stuff like that. Well, I'm, I'm sure she feels bad anyway, but that was, like, on camera. Mm-hmm. Everybody saw you, you know, get bucked with your mom. But like I don't that. even think she, <laughs> honestly, in that moment, I don't even think she realized it was her mom. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like she she's not, mad. she was this mad. And like I said, it takes her a lot to get mad so once she's there i don't think she's st- like it start you start seeing different things and so i think it was like anyone that if that was my hand she would have hit you know what i'm saying so and it was her mom and i know she feels horrible about that because she's even said like oh my god i can't believe like she she gets so uncomfortable like that's yeah. my mom you know but she definitely pushed her mom's hands because she felt like her mom was coming at her like defending Danielle and she was about like Danielle was just so wrong in that moment and so so that that reminds me because this episode is just airing tonight so uh they everybody like the viewers and the public can actually tweet they do still live tweet uh uh-huh. um Christina and does all do all of the sisters yes. get involved uh-huh. okay so you can hashtag um CMTU right yes uh-huh. and then if you have any questions for us also guys you can uh hashtag ABTV turned up Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you have any questions, you want to reach out to us, ask us questions, or maybe give your opinion, your thoughts, or whatever, feel free to hashtag us. So, um, yeah, I was really uh, just shocked. I was really appalled, as I'm sure you guys were. Were you, like, kind of shocked and, like, tripping a little bit? I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I wanted, like, <laughs> I wanted to, like, rewind it because I was like... <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to rewind it and because I was missing, I felt like I was missing certain like good juicy parts because it was so fast. Because they were like yelling over each other. Yeah, and I was like, wait, I wanted to hear what she said. Yeah, like I wanted to hear everything, and then but we didn't have enough time to rewind it. But I'll watch it at home again. Yeah, it was just like super like. It was just a lot going on. And then to see someone else's family, because like I said, I have a big family, so I know how we get down. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is like just like my family. Like everyone, I think it just brings a sense of more reality because everyone sees Christina as like, you know, a lot of people idolize her. They just mm-hmm. probably don't think like families fight like that. Like everyone's family gets down like nitty gritty as yes. we saw tonight. Yeah. So I was really upset that it was a to be continued because it's so much like I don't know. It was just really entertaining. Well, I was happy that it's a to be (laughs) be continued because I'm like, yes, let's see more of it next week. But I'm actually curious to see what type of reaction everybody's going to have to Christina because you Mm -hmm. know, for the most part, like I told her, you know, she's definitely got that image where it's like a good girl. Like Mm -hmm. you're, you know, it's just Mm -hmm. kind of it's been positive. I know she's turning up now and she's doing you know a little bit more risque things, Mm but. For the most part, no one's ever seen her go like this, you right. know, and mm-hmm. this is like in front of the camera. So that's why I want, you know, everybody to um, hashtag that and maybe ask her okay. some questions just to see what kind of reaction they're going to have to her. Well, you know it plays I mean? along to- with her rebel role that she said that mm-hmm. she's taking on. So, hey, yes, yes she de- sure. definitely brought mm-hmm. it. She to definitely me, it was did. just so surprised. And I don't know if it was because the episode was edited into 30 minutes, but just like mm-hmm. the speed that the fight kind of broke out like mm-hmm. that to me was what was surprising so was it act did it actually no, happen I was that gonna fast? say that I I joke with her and that's why I'm so glad you guys played the song that you played because I'm like you literally went from zero to one it, it seriously felt like in a matter of 30 seconds it went from being like what's up with you guys oh okay you guys have attitudes to like Fighting. I was like what I, I you could hear me in the background saying why are you guys yelling mm-hmm. why are you guys yelling and I think someone's <laughs> like Lauren shut up and I'm like no but it's like how did you guys go from talking to like mm-hmm. screaming? So right. It literally it happened, happened fast, like, yeah, bro. it happened that fast. But that just shows you it was a lot of built up. So. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I know Christina touched on earlier in the season that she said that her family pretty much ruined her wedding and she didn't really go into detail. But now we have you here. And just, I mean, obviously say whatever you want to say. But this episode, she kept saying, Danielle ruined my wedding. Danielle ruined my wedding. How did Danielle ruin her wedding? So the reason why Christina got so upset mm-hmm. is because she felt like when her and her sister had her, the argument, I think she talked about in the, in the like episode with Richard, mm-hmm. um, that they had a fight when in Rome when we were all, we all there for her wedding, mm-hmm. and it was me, Carmen, and Danielle mm-hmm. in that, and so she felt like it was the same scenario, like she had like like a deja vu moment, mm-hmm. and and it triggered her, 
And so it was like the three of us, I think she said it was like us sitting down in the lobby. We were singing in the lobby then, but it was us sitting down and then them arguing. So the camp fight, I mean, the camp scene reminded her of that. Mm. And so it took her back to that place. Wow. Oh, but, wow. And so she so probably, it wasn't like, but it wasn't just Danielle. It's like Christina and Danielle got into an argument. It's not Danielle. Yeah. It's like the two of them argued. Then Christina got, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it was a, it was a bigger thing. Mm -hmm. You know how like sometimes you feel like, uh, this is another opportunity for me to get out that passion and those things that I wanted to say back then. Do you think like she was letting off some of that steam that she had from back yeah, then? Yeah. Rome? I feel like literally it like took her there. Like I know there's like this whole thing. People have these things when in your sub when bad things happen in our subconscious mind, we go back to that. Like if you're putting that setting, you go back to that place. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like Christina went back to that time mm -hmm. and like so all the feelings that she had then kind of came out at that fight because I couldn't even in my mind I was like, why is she so mad? Why is she so upset? Mm -hmm. And then after she explained like it was the same exact scenario. And then I'm like, okay, I can understand that because I do know even when like when you start getting all technical on the brain and how things work, it's like she was take. She felt like she was taken back to a place that was a, a very, very like trying time for her, mm -hmm. and it came out at the campsite. Wow, <sighs> gosh, it's it's great having you here because it's like getting the insight to <laughs> the certain scoop, things yeah. that yeah, the, the definitely the scoop and insight to certain things we wouldn't you know know mm -hmm. I guess otherwise. Um, and I'm so excited to see how it unfolds next. Uh, the next episode, mm -hmm. our, the finale. Mm -hmm. Gosh, we're hoping for a season two pickup. Yeah, yeah so are we. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyway, guys, do you guys have any more questions for Lauren or uh, or any news gossip, anything like that? No. No. Do you well, have any news and I gossip? Know, for yeah. us? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. I, I think the show, the episode, was all my news and gossip. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully, maybe uh, you'll come back, or we can get Lizzie or Danielle or somebody to come back from the show um, for the finale. We'll see. Yes. I don't know what that schedule is looking like. Maybe we could talk talk about it later and we can open up some spots or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I did want to give one piece of news. You guys ready? Yes. yes. So um Christina, remember she talked she actually aired her rebel song on the on the um show. Mm -hmm. And we all like that song. We all agreed that should definitely be her first single. But she's gonna put it out on March first oh. it's gonna be um the oh. next episode right yeah on the finale on the finale oh awesome, oh, awesome. yeah so i look forward to um hearing that and really groove into it and and i'm definitely gonna download it yeah <laughs> so i hope you guys do too yeah totally yeah so this i mean it was, it was so great to have you here lauren but Thank you for yeah me. we can't even wrap up whatever happened because this episode is a to, to be, be continued, continued. Yes, so and we it gets will... really really good so you Ooh. really gotta watch episode six. Oh gosh okay my I'm prediction really is that they're gonna it's all gonna end well though it's gonna get really nasty but they're all gonna end on a positive note that's, that's a great amazing. prediction no. nice prediction okay. Michelle. <laughs> yes <laughs> you guys have any, any predictions no i agree with michelle same. yeah once. i think we're all on that okay, same good. page yeah <laughs> she has spoken for all of us okay. well anyway all guys well that ends well that's right so um catch us on our very next episode which again is the finale and we'll kind of wrap it up from there see how it goes you guys until then we will see you later. Where can we find you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. At Robin Ayers. Yeah, no, you can definitely find me at Robin Ayers. It should be right down there. A-Y-E-R-S. <laughs> and Twitter, Instagram, X-O-X-O-C-E-S-C-A. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Michelle Renee TV. And you guys can always find me on Instagram at Pink English as well as on Twitter, English Speaks. Where can we find you, Lauren? You can find me on Instagram at Lauren Rod 8 and mm -hmm. on Twitter at Lauren B. Rogers. And that's Rogers with the R-O-D-G-E-R-S, yes. right? All right, because, yes, you know, people get G, that confused. Yes. <laughs> that D. Yeah, D. <laughs> what kind of D? From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.